What's up guys? Welcome back to another video here on Chanel's channel. So as you guys know, I have done a Chloe Tang challenge before and it was a two week flat belly challenge, which I did and I love the results. I'll leave a link above and a link below so you guys can click on that just to see and freshen up your mind on what I'm talking about. But today we're going to be doing something else a little bit different is because I did do her challenge and I do believe in it and I think it really do work. So my goal is to to have a shape now I am small built I am not too fat but at the time when I was trying to gain weight I eat unhealthy foods which cause a lot of stomach fat side belly fat and you know those areas are just like it's called a muffin top basically so I had all those areas hidden under my clothes and I absolutely hated it so with that being said let's start off day one of this beautiful long challenge you guys can see I'm using a waist trainer around my waist because I do want to really target the stomach area and lose a lot of belly fat it's kind of equivalent to when you put like plastic wrap or when people wear a plastic bag around them just to cause more sweating in certain areas and that's pretty much what I'll be doing So during this process of getting this workout done, um, I've watched a lot of videos and read a lot of um, articles saying that most of the time you already have abs and that muscle is pretty much under the fat. So you do have to burn off the fat in order for the muscles to properly show. And a way to do that is doing a lot of cardio and HIIT workouts. Let me tell you guys, this was probably the hardest thing for me to do in the gym. Normally when I do cardio, I only do it for like 10 minutes and I'm good to go. This HIIT workouts, they probably run for around 15 to 20 minutes and I was burnt. I could not keep up. If you guys really, really want to lose that belly fat and lose as much fat in general as possible, definitely try HIIT workouts. This HIIT workout, I will put on the screen what I found. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it on the screen so that way you guys can do it too if you're interested. It targets all over the body. So it's my legs and my arms. As you guys can see, I was working at the same time. By the time I was done with that, mm -mm, it was time to do the ab exercise and I was ready to go. So after that hit workout, I was burnt, I was tired, and that was pretty much it for me. I sit down for at least five minutes to catch my breath and for my heart rate to kind of slow down so I could be okay to follow this ab workout. And after that five minutes, I was good and I was ready to do the ab workout. So the Hourglass Booty and Ab program is pretty much like four workouts in total. It has a small waist and abs with wrong butt workout. It have the Hourglass Ab workout, which I'll be doing. It have the Booty Pump workout and it has the Get That Tone Legs and Wrong Booty workout. All of them work together in order to give you that Hourglass shape, but I pretty much targeted the Hourglass Abs workout because I do work out on my legs and my butt every other day. so. I didn't really use it that much but this the hourglass ab workout is what i target the most in this program i will probably do the rest of the workouts later on this week since we are on quarantine right now so thumbs up the video if you do want to see the results of that or if you want to see me actually try that whole workout program let me know in the comments down below Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, compared to her other ab workout that I did try out before, this one was less intense than the other one. To me, this one is more about balance, coordination, and full body strength. Because when you work in your obliques, which is the side of your abs, that's where we're really targeting. So the more muscle you have there, the more definition, the more slimmer waist 
your body will show normally those exercises um, pertain more to balancing because you'll see most of our exercises are pretty much on the elbows and to the side so you have to balance the upper body with the lower body to be able to get that core area more defined more toned more worked out so i think this one was least intense compared to the two week program that she did have but it was still intense because you did have to keep going and keep pushing through for a whole 10 minutes As you guys can see my stomach was sweating the goal was accomplished for the first day and you can all see I have that muffin top still I have no shape still and hopefully the following days on will get better my routine pretty much goes Monday arms Tuesday legs Wednesday hit Thursday arms Friday legs Saturday hit Sunday rest Okay, so I'm pretty much going to explain what I did with the workout. Um, I normally work my upper body and my lower body and alternate it from there. Um, I don't just work out abs at all. My abs normally work out to the end of each exercise. So I push for that last 10 minutes in order to get this exercise done and the challenge over with. Um, normally when I'm lifting, I kind of lift a little bit heavier than I normally do because I, I heard and I saw videos that when you lift, it also helps the um, body to shape out nicely and also works your abs as well. So normally when you lift, you suck in that stomach and you act like you're working in those muscles as well as your upper body. So when days when I'm doing my upper body, I don't do any cardio, I leave it just as that and do upper body and then hit the abs then when it's my leg day i normally do 10 minute cardio to get those legs warmed up and then i go ahead and do my leg workout and then i do my abs and then through midweek every wednesday i will do a hit exercise so that way it will just target body fat in all areas of the body in order to get the whole process done These were moments So after the first week, it was officially quarantine time everywhere around the world. So now I had to work out at home, which sucks, but at the same time, I knew we had to do it for our safety. So you guys be very careful out there. Take this thing very seriously. It's attacking all age groups. But enough about that. Let's get back to the workout. The future is not worth fighting. We'll look to the stars to Okay, so let me know in the comments down below if it's only me, but I don't like working out at home. I feel less motivated while working out at home, but I still push through this whole process and I try to adapt to my surroundings. So the weight that I had 
home i use it for my upper body and then i use the resistance band to intensify any lower body workouts that i was doing as for cardio i still was able to do some hit workouts at home i also jumped some rope instead of running on the treadmill or i would run around my neighborhood depending on what time of the day i woke up that morning so you pretty much have to just wing it and try to do it do the best that you can because at the end of the day we had a goal to accomplish and we can't let anything stop us okay so keep pushing through no matter if you have to work out at home we all have to work out at home at this point just keep it going don't stop keep going I know I jumped from day 9 all the way up to day 16. Um, this is pretty much the last day that I'm going to be showing you guys here on the channel. But I know it's normally a 25 day challenge. So I am going to do the full challenge for the full 25 days. But I'm going to do that for other video because I do want to continue this process and see how wide or how muscular my sides and my obliques can shape out. But I still feel like I can do a little bit more work on that area because I still see a little bit more fat there but that's going to be for a whole new journey but thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in other hundreds thousands and millions of videos i'll be making here on youtube